there's a new music service vying for your ear and wallet. Today we're announcing Apple Music, the next chapter in music. 12 years after opening the iTunes store, Apple's hoping it can again shake up the music industry. For about $10 a month, Apple Music allows users to stream any music in iTunes without having to buy songs and download them. It also has customized playlists and recommendations, features similar to other popular streaming services like Spotify. You need a human touch. We're going to give you the right song, the right playlist at the right moment. Apple is also going back to the future with radio, introducing a new round-the-clock streaming station called Beats One. So a lot of people are already used to giving their credit card to Apple. And with this service that will just be built onto your iPhone or onto your iPad or your Mac, you know, you're just going to find it much easier to subscribe to this. Apple Music wasn't the only announcement. Apple also unveiled operating system updates for Macs, iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watches. For mobile devices, iOS 9 comes with a more robust Siri that tries to predict the information you need and the ability to better multitask with the iPad by creating split screens. It wasn't just the services that stood out, but the people who delivered the message. News is smart, so the more I read, the better it gets at showing me stories I'm interested in. For the first time, two female Apple executives took the stage at WWDC. In San Francisco, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.